going on everyone? It's time to review Better Call Saul Season 2 Episode 6 titled Bali Ha. This is a spoiler review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me less than two minutes to recap the episode, give the pros, cons, and final score. Thank you so much for joining me everyone. Hey, real quick, I hope you guys enjoyed that new intro. I just created it today uh, on a Wednesday. Uh, the, the one day before Batman v Superman on a Justice League. I got my tickets for Thursday, 6 o'clock, and I got my tickets for Friday morning. I'm probably going to see it Saturday and Sunday. Hey, man, I love celebrating Easter, man, but... Batman v Superman. No, I'll probably see it Tuesday, not Sunday, obviously. But uh, see it while you can, man. Uh, my review will be coming Thursday night on the 24th of March. Uh, so, if you're watching it past then, then the review's already out, and then on Friday, March 25th, my spoiler review comes out, so make sure you guys uh, get, a, get a taste of that. Anyway, we're here for Better Call Saul. By the way, if you haven't heard, it's been officially renewed for a third season. Uh, congratulations, AMC, the cast and crew, man. I love Better Call Saul. It's a very fantastic show. Man. It, it, is it Breaking Bad? It, it, is it that level? No, but it's as close as it can get so far. It's becoming the show of its own. Uh, you know, Jimmy McGill. Honestly, I have to say Mike's storyline is a little bit better than Jimmy's this season, honestly. But, um, you know, Mike's a badass, and I'm glad they're showing him way more. And it was a perfect decision to even bring him onto the show, so amazing for that. Let's get on to this, man. Jimmy can't sleep, so he's back at the Nell and Spa place. He's back sleeping there in the room with the... The, the noise and everything, and he's all sleeping happy now. Uh, of course, he sings to uh, Kim on the phone, Bali Ha song. Uh, and there's this guy at Mike's house. He ends up leaving. Mike literally goes, he's like, can I help you? And the guy's just like, you know, something to something, man. He was basically like, I, I don't know what he said, actually, but he was just literally, uh, he sent from... Uh, Nacho's family. Basically, the guy, I don't know the guy's name, but the guy from Breaking Bad that was like, ding, 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 ding. That guy, well, he's not in the ding, ding chair right now. He's not in the wheelchair. He's obviously up and standing, man. Uh, so, of course, they, uh, he has a welcome mat. I thought that was awesome because he has, like, a welcome mat. So, you know, Mike will take down anyone that comes to hurt him. Kim is in court. She basically loses. This guy ends up talking to her. Uh, I believe this guy's name is... Well, he works for Schwartz and Coakley, if I got that name right. And he ends up taking her to lunch and offering her a job. There are these two guys in Mike's house. Mike ends up searching the whole house, dude. He ends up uh, finding them, and he's like, we were supposed to scare you. And, you know, well, you did a pretty bad job at it. They end up, you know, leaving and everything. That whole, it literally took him two or three minutes just to search through the house. And I thought my heart was pounding. I was like, is it that guy from earlier? And then it ended up being just two different guys. But, of course, they worked for the same man. Uh, of course, that was awesome. Uh, he ends up keeping their gun and his hand shakes. And it's a little bit of blood and everything. You know, his hands start shaking, but he ends up stopping it. Uh, of course, Kaylee is in the pool. And we see the two... I don't know if they could, brothers or twins. I'm just going to go with two brothers. We see the two brothers from Breaking Bad from Season 2, man, on top of a roof. Uh, remember the, the, the brothers, of course, that Hank ended up killing, I believe, uh, you know, and then the axe fell and everything. Now, these guys are looking at Kaylee and Mike, and the guy's like, right to Kaylee in the pool. Mike's just like, He's scared. You could tell in his face. He's angry and scared at the same time, man. Uh, so that ends up happening there. Of course, we see Jimmy. He leaves for work, and Kim is... What does that say? Kim is conning Dell. She meets uh, Dell at this, like, hotel, restaurant, area, bar, and she ends up talking to him, and she calls Jimmy, and she's like, Hey, I got, I got a live one, basically, so they could con him, get some money. They end up getting 10000 dollars out of it. So uh, Mike meets with this the man that ding 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 I don't know his name again man. I'm sorry I didn't do the research man. You gotta do the research for this. And he ends up saying fifty thousand dollars and I'll take the fall for Tuco and all that. Uh, so he'll take the fall. He ends up giving twenty five thousand to Nacho in secret man so that was really cool for that. Uh, Nacho and anyway Jimmy is uh Jimmy got the ten thousand and they put it just as, like, decoration in Kim's room. And Kim is going to take the job, or she wants to take the job bad for Schwartz and Coakley. So, overall, man, what did I think about this episode? Let me give you them pros first off. Mike, man, holy crap. I love Mike's storyline in this episode. I love his plot. It's the most interesting out of the whole episode. I love the way he's acted. And the whole Kaylee in the pool scene was, I think, the best scene out of the whole episode, man, with the two 
twins or the brothers. That was something important, man. That really got me going. The ending of the episode, of course, where they ended up conning him, I thought that was a very interesting thing as well. Um, now, it was a little slow with the, the whole conversation of, like, I'm going to take the job or whatever, but the whole ending of them and basically them and their playing characters and, like, their brother and sister and everything, that was really funny as well. Uh, the brothers, like I told you, on the roof and everything, that was the best scene, like I said. The way it was filmed, the way it was written, very scary. You felt it. You, you were intimidated, man. Jimmy at the spa being back again, that was really nice. They love how he talks to the ladies. Maybe you get some cucumber water, maybe, but he needs coffee. The faster you give me the coffee, the faster I'll get out. She's all pissed. Uh, of course, Mike searching the house. Like I said, that's another probably the second best scene out of the episode there. The directing, the cinematography, all that was perfect, man. And, of course, Kim uh, talking to Schwartz at the, the, the lunch and everything and her, her storyline this episode, man. The only cons I have to say for this episode, I did like Kim's story, but her story was slow. It was that slow-paced story where you just wanted to go back to Mike or Jimmy. And as well, Jimmy's storyline was slow as well. They're, they were the two slow ones. Their stories are interesting, but they're slow. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't get to uh, we didn't get to see the con. We didn't get to see it all go down, which was kind of a sad thing, because I love the whole thing about the con in the first or second episode when they con that guy. We didn't get to see the whole con this time. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give this episode a Better Call Saul Baleha a... B, or no, not a B, what am I saying? The number's right there, not the number, the letter. An A minus, man. It's a great episode. Holy crap. Uh, another great episode. I think last week was the episode where I was like, oh, it wasn't that great of an episode. This one definitely picks up, man. Love the acting, love the stories. Even though some are slow, Mike's story was the best. Comment down below. Tell me down uh, what you guys thought about Better Call Saul, what you're looking forward to in season three, you guys. Are you ready? I think we got four episodes left this season, and that's it, man. Four episodes, and we're done. Unless they extended it to 13 or 15 episodes. I hope I hope they didn't. I hope it's just 10 episodes. Uh, but either way, thanks, guys. If you want to support the channel, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Like my Facebook page down below. And share this video, guys. Get the news out. Better call Saul. I review it every week. Thanks. Bye-bye.